Thanks for coming to the library today. We've got the wonderful Forrest and Margaret. Thank yeah. you. Forrest McCurran. Um, Forrest comes from the heart of the heartland, where the foothills of the Ozarks meet the big muddy. The middle of, uh, the middle of Missouri. Blazing his own trail while stylistically tipping his hat to the songwriting giants of the past. McCurran wields the magic of lyricism to cast a light of of the many intricacies of everyday life set against the vignettes of middle America. Wow. Tackling topics such as wise yeah. words from waitresses, heartbroken high school football standouts, and tattoo trailer park lover, the current writes songs for good people that get bad grades in school. <laughs> uh, from dreams and still trying to figure out if life is sweet or sour. I'd like to introduce Forrest McCurry and Margaret. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give that for our friend Phil. You all have a great welcoming committee here in Liberal, Kansas. I'd like uh, to make it clear that I did not write that about myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I contributed the wise waitresses and a wild uncle part, but uh, <laughs> the other was my buddy Rich Henderson. It's so good to be here in, uh, in Liberal today where the tea is cold and delicious and the folks are warm and kind. And like Phil said, on my left here with the Colgate smile, darling to me, missus to you, that's 21, the 2021 Tevis Old Time Fellow Ooh. Contest champion, Margaret McKernan. Thank you. And I'm your friend, Forrest. And uh, we're going to play some songs I made up, tell you some stories about them in between. And as far as my understanding is, this is an open floor for uh, any, uh, any questions, concerns, <laughs> debates. So fire away as you, as you like. And thanks for having us. I grew up a, a religious mud. My, my dad was an Irish Catholic and my mom's a country Methodist, which means I like fried chicken and whiskey. <laughs> and it means that all the girls I knew growing up were either in the horses or the Virgin Mary, which uh, meant that I just decided I'd get into trouble instead. And so this is an autobiographical song. Like I said, you can call me your friend Forrest, so you can call me trouble. God made Adam and God made Eve And a bunch of folks before he got to me So I don't know how he got his soul wrong Well, I got his head so full of speed And I won't sit still long enough to think Well, all it does is get stuck inside the song And yeah, my heart don't Go to bed, but don't get no sleep for all the feelings inside me. I'm caught in the gutter, slip, sliding around. I've always been in trouble, a little bit out of my mind. I'm seeing double, both feet over the line. Black and bold your eyes It's a heck of a life But it ain't been gonna pass me by long Yeah Yeah, I lost my dad when I was young Trying to be a man who won't make you one But what you get That's what you got They say come and then they go Sometimes they walk, sometimes they roll But they're moving on Like it or not Some folks say I smoke too much Well, I won't sit still, yeah, I don't shut up I can't understand the words coming from my mind But from where I stand from what I see, it all looks just like the dream in Seward County with new friends all around. Hey, I've always been in trouble, a little bit out of my mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing double, both feet 
church at midnight <laughs> it's good for you <laughs> but kind of strange <laughs> that, uh, there's a line in there about uh, can't understand the words coming out of my mouth and that I wanted to be clear that's not any type of artistic dilemma feeling like oh people don't get me that's a uh, I've got a crooked mouth my mouth formed crooked growing up because I sucked on a bottle too long <laughs> it wasn't my bottle it was my little brother's bottle unbeknownst to my mom <laughs> Which is why even though he's twice as broad as me and his hands are twice as big, I'm still an inch taller than, <laughs> than he is. And I'm a speech class dropout. Um, so I, uh, I'm working on my enunciation. <laughs> we play a great place in Indianapolis called uh, Dukes. Which is, uh, Dukes is if a Swiss chalet and a honky tonk had a baby, that would be Dukes. And uh, after our first time playing there, we are talking to a lady and she said, uh, we liked all the same songwriters and having a really nice conversation. And about five minutes into her conversation, I said, well, what do you do? And she goes, I'm a speech therapist. <laughs> and I said, I feel like I'm in the principal's office. <laughs> she said, well, yeah. She's like, I like your song. I was like, well, how do I do as far as enunciation? She said, B minus. I said, I'm used to B minuses. Where's my, B, where's my 3.0s out there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, as long as you treat people kind and you smile and you wave. Wave back. You can get by on some bees. <laughs> and this next song, uh, Marg and I, we're going to, this is the first, uh, first show of a, a six-week run that's going to take us to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. And uh, it's a great country we live in, especially for driving. It's a great place to, to get on the road and you know there's always another town 20 miles down the road and i'm always uh, filled up with with hope after we get off the road whenever you put on your traveling cape and go out and meet people it seems like uh, you always meet the kindest folks out on the road and so i'd like to dedicate this next song to uh, the first car i bought with my own money Ooh. which i think is a big deal for a lot of folks your first sense of freedom maya I was a young man, I was 16, I mowed a lot of yards to get a 2000 Saab 9.3. For the younger folks out there, uh, Saabs, <laughs> there's a Scandinavian car, they would say it was born from jets, and it's gone the way of the dinosaurs. And uh, Missouri's a cave state, we got so many caves that they start putting mechanics in the caves. And I had the pleasure of knowing the Saab doc, who worked in some caves off of a 435 highway. I told to the cave I know where the, the, the mechanic was because I'd see the cherry of a cigarette lit up in the corner. <laughs> About a year and a half ago, he called me up and said, Fuller, stop bringing that car in. He said, uh, you're going to lose money on it. I'm going to lose money on it because I like you. He said, here's a list of scrap yards. And I don't know if any of you all are sentimental. I'm very sentimental. I keep my dad's old belts and my grandpa's old button downs. Letters from my mom. We were pen pals for about three months until she stopped writing me back. I still got the letters anyway. And so I was kind of sad thinking about, you know, this first symbol of freedom in my life and it being smashed to smithereens in some scrapyard. But there's angels all around us if you have the mind to look for them and make a friend in the grocery store or wave to somebody who looks like they need it. And a group of angels came my way in the form of the Junkyard Divas, which is a demolition dirt track team out of Platte County, Missouri. Oh. And they said, Forrest, we'll give you a scrap price for that old car. And instead of getting smashed with smithereens, it can race for glory on summer nights. And I said, hallelujah, sisters. So here's a song about good old cars, good old guitars, good old friends. Great old songwriters like Guy Clark. It's called Stuff That Works. Got an old blue shirt that suits me just fine. I like the way it feels, so I wear it all the time. 
Got this old guitar, won't ever stay in town. But I like the way it sounds in a Kansas afternoon. Stuff that works, stuff that holds up, kind of stuff you don't hang on the wall. Stuff is real, stuff you feel, the kind of stuff you reach for when you fall. That's like with the uh, Got Milk. That was yeah. the best marketing campaign yeah. of all time. <laughs> Bring that back. <laughs> Big Dairy slacking. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but folks in my hometown I used to meet up at the Kmart parking lot on Friday and Saturday night looking for violence and romance. <laughs> Violence usually won out because it turns out not too many young romantics want to hang out at the Kmart uh, parking lot on Friday and Saturday night. You don't say. It took us <laughs> four years of high school to figure that out. People would pull out of the, the Kmart parking lot and race up and down Missouri Boulevard, racing in the streets just like Springsteen wrote about. And I never had any friends with fast cars. I had friends with big cars and cars that didn't work all the time. But my friends were great trash talkers, so we'd meet them at the red light and Wreck them with our words, and then when it turned green, we let the miles and Miatas and the Honda Civic spin out. And we go back to the Kmart <laughs> the parking lot cars. looking for romance. <laughs> we were uh, opening up for a band called the Texas Gentlemen up in Wyoming. A great band. They play with uh, Hayes Carl and Ryan Bingham, a couple of my favorite songwriters. So it's a thrill to open for them, and after one of the shows, and that's the, the real gift of uh, We always say, we play for free. It's the travel <laughs> and the gas <laughs> that we need a little bit of change for. Because you get to meet so many wonderful people. And uh, so I love talking to folks after we play and hearing about the cat they grew up with and <laughs> their, their twin sister. But they came up to me. She said, you know, I've never been, been to Kmart. And this was uh, late in 2022. I said, you better hurry. <laughs> I said, that blue light special is getting harder and harder to find. Damn and I can't report back. Margaret and I played a 
Does anybody know uh, what the com kumquat capital of uh, the USA is? There's free, free koozie if anybody knows. <laughs> we played there in February, Dade City, Florida. Of course. Which I think if you just call yourself the kumquat capital of the USA, no one's going to question you. So that could have been the thing that happened to me. <laughs> But it turns out we, we met some uh, old executives for Kmart and we played and they go, yeah, Kmart doesn't exist anymore. I said, that explains a lot. <laughs> but that lady in Wyoming, I said, that, if you haven't been there, just close your eyes, I'll take you there. And I said, you're walking through the front doors, you get a blast of air and it smells kind of like popcorn, the popcorn that's been left out too long. <laughs> so first she steps in and you realize the floor is a little stickier than you wish it was. <laughs> and off in the distance you hear a yell. <laughs> And that's a mom with four kids named Ronnie, Donnie, Connie, and Lonnie, and she's just beating the heck out of one of them in aisle four. <laughs> then you hear, you keep this up, we're not coming back to Kmart no more. <laughs> I said, and you're there. <laughs> and you can get a whole stereo system for $30, as long as you don't mind that sounds like it's in a mailbox in the bottom of a pond. <laughs> but now I dedicate this song to that great, uh, <laughs> that great old change of, chain of stores and yeah, this goes out to Kmart and Springsteen and little Lonnie who's getting whooped in aisle four of whatever Kmart is now. It's called Diamond Desert. <laughs> Mama's still kicking, I know. She's 
after my papa, that's Big Forrest. He's 94, still working on his farm every day. He's a terrible role model, because he's perfect. <laughs> 94, still working every day. I get a big, he taught me a lot about music. My grandma, his wife, played an organ at Prairie Chapel, so I love old gospel song, Amazing Grace in the Garden, Just a Closer Walk with Thee. And then Papa gave me my country music education, Ernest Tubb, and Roy Acuff, and he'd talk about it. He graduated high school in 1947 on a Friday, and Saturday night he found himself in Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, where the greatest guitar pickers in the world would deliver pizza right to your front door. <laughs> he was there to see uh, the Wabash Cannonball, great speckled bird boy, Roy Acuff. And Margaret and I played uh, Nashville for the first time this last summer. A sold out show with our buddy J.R. Carroll. A place called The Basement. JR did the heavy lift on the selling out, but we were there too. We played our 45 minutes. When we got back to the farm, I said, Paul, Paul, we played in Nashville. He goes, was it the Opry? I said, well, no. He said, what's the point, man? It's all right, I'll report back next time. Well, I get a big kick out of coming off the road and telling Paul, Paul, all the places we've been and how late we've been staying up. I was like, shoo, forest you. No grass grows under your feet, does it? And I'll say, don't forget, if you burn out that candle at both ends, you won't have any light left to shine. Which is a good reminder on the road. And Margaret and I were on a long run uh, this fall. And uh, in between that run, in between a couple days where we were going to be in Nebraska and South Dakota, we got invited out to uh, Sunny. There ought to be a law against it, Los Angeles. Some folks who... Uh, work with Yellowstone and all those. Uh, I guess Taylor Sheridan makes those and Taylor Sheridan doesn't sleep because he's got about six shows he's working on right now. And we got invited out to write some songs with the, the music folks there. I waited uh, until they had us out there to let them know that we don't have a TV. <laughs> we were in the meeting, they said, everybody seen the show? I said, no. <laughs> but we really like the hotel room and the burritos. <laughs> But uh, while we were gone and on that long run, Papa being 94, he thinks it's important to, you know, do something new every year. We had a, we had a lady down the road, Mabel Fisher, on her 100th birthday, she took her first hot air balloon ride. So Papa was kind of taken into that tradition. And he decided this year that he was gonna break his first bone. Him and my older brother building a house and uh, taking trees down and stacking them up. Well, it's those two and then two Amish men as well, which makes it like a crew of 20 people. Yeah. And so we were on the road, and I was just thinking about Paul Paul and how uh, lucky we are to get to go out and play for folks, but then how it means saying goodbye all the time. And I was just thinking, I wish I had some wings to get back and see Paul Paul for a little bit. And so this song is called If Horses Had Wings. Blue skies and fast cars, 
bloodshot eyes, broken heart, days get short and leaves are far. Drunk fools and dive bars, hotel pools, cannon balls, I miss my brothers, and I never call. With horses and wings, they be flying. Back home, there's an old man with a broken soul, swollen hands. I think about him ten times a day. In my hand, there's a beer can, a life without a plan, different things, but the same first This year was a fastball, highway miles, missed calls, three speed tickets, three times a day. So stay dead, out on the road, out on the town, staying at home, a falling baby, a falling in me. Thank you. That's my song for uh, Pegasus. Yeah. Pegasus is. Pegasus. 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 for Christmas. I love it. Well, we, uh, I don't know if there's any golf fans out there, but I went to the same high school as the great American golfer John Daly. Truly. <laughs> Although years apart, he's still the spirit animal for young men in my hometown. A lot of great mullets. Everybody drinks Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Eats a bunch of peanut M&Ms. <laughs> I was uh, filling up lawnmowers one morning in my hometown. I always enjoy working outside. It keeps you grounded in a really important way, I think. I'm also part border collie. And so uh, <laughs> working outside seems to help uh, give me peace. I was filling up lawnmowers and... Uh, at the pump next to me, it was about 8 a.m., and the, there's a man with an Astro van pulling a flatbed trailer. And there was nothing on the trailer, but he was sitting there uh, eating his breakfast, which was fried chicken and Diet Coke. Nice. I was watching him, and he just had a great way about him. And I think it's really a... You can, I like to make friends in the grocery store line and at the gas pump, and, uh, which I know scares some people. <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, no harm. And the good thing about Mid Missouri is you can have an hour long conversation just by bringing up Cardinals baseball. And uh, this man, Randy, he, uh, we hit it off. He had gone to the same high school. He graduated with John Daly and claimed to have given him his signature gripping and rip it <laughs> for reasons besides golf. <laughs> and uh, Randy and I got to talking. And he was heading west out to, to Denver. He had just reconnected with his first girlfriend out in Denver, Colorado, and they hadn't seen each other for about 20, 25 years. But, uh, they saw each other and they knew it was the other one because they'd gotten matching tattoos when they were 15 years old. So this goes out to anybody who uh, got a tattoo before they were 16 and, and Randy and finding a love in scrappy places. Let's call it Denver. Strange
and stop it. Moving to the mud and sand. They grown up together, running on the playground. Then a bug gets to her other feather till she got sent to her grandma's hand. He needs an alternator, shave and a sheep. We'll worry about all that later right now. There's just one thing to do, cause they ain't got matching tattoos. They were just 15. He walks up, taps her shoulder, and rolls up his sleeve. But what took so long? Where you been? I've been missing you. My old friend, I don't know where we went so wrong. I am broken, I am bent. I was stupid and I got spent. It's so good seeing you again, my old friend. Yeah. You can say we're lovely in the suburbs or nightclubs. Up that truck, so what it took so long? Where you been? I've been missing you. My old friend, I don't know where we went so long. Well, I am broken, I am dead. I was stupid and I got sick. It's so good seeing you. <laughs> I'd like to do a song for the prettiest little cemetery <clears throat> in the world. You can write a song about anything. <laughs> Whether it's worth a dang or not, it's a whole other subject. But I just got done. Uh, I, I love being in the library. Uh, Mar and I play libraries throughout the, the country, actually. And uh, I used to say, walking into Missouri River Regional Library in my hometown when I was four, my mom would say I'd walk in, and every time I'd stop and say, this is my happy place. Just, there's a lot of uh, hope and, and goodness and learning and books. I just finished up a, a book by, my first book by uh, Patty Smith. I never read Patty Smith before. She was a great rock and roller and still alive, still riding, but M Train. And that's a book that is really neat. It's nonfiction. And uh, it just helps you see with new eyes, you know. She talks about it. She can find the beauty in, you know, the tree 
the leaf falling off the tree and all that. And it's, that's the beauty of reading is it can give you a new perspective for a day and put a little pep in your step. But this song is about Heart Hill, Heart Hill, H-A-R-T, which is a cemetery on a, a bluff overlooking the Missouri River in mid-Missouri, on the Missouri side of Missouri, actually. <laughs> and uh, that area means a lot to me. My great-grandparents met in the river bottom down there. My uh, great-grandpa was working along the river. My great-grandma was riding a horse along the fence line. And uh, my great-grandpa worked with horses and bought and sold cattle. And from afar, he saw my great-grandma riding that pony. He goes, that's a fine pony. And so he did that thing that women love, which is a strange man hollering at him from afar, <laughs> saying, hey, hey you. <laughs> slow down, talk to me. <laughs> but she did, and, and he got over there. And as he got closer, he went from saying, that's a dang fine pony to that's a dang fine woman. Horses be. <laughs> you know, forgot about the horse real quick. And that was a little sprout I needed on the family tree just to get here at all, which is something I remind myself of often, especially if I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> if I'm in a bad mood, I remind myself of all the love that had to happen, all the crazy circumstances that, to get me here at all, and what a miracle it is and to be amongst the, you know, on this big, goofy ball of clay where there's butterflies and good cold drinks and friends and love. Oh. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> and all the tea you want. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and if I remind myself of that, I'm still in a bad mood. I just go eat a peach. It's impossible to be angry while eating a peach. Impossible to say anything mean to somebody while eating a good piece of fruit. So you all keep that in your back pocket next time you're kind of in a rut. <laughs> and when I go, which is a great trade-off to butterflies and peaches is you don't get to do it forever and I don't think that should make us sad I think it should make the good times feel feel even better and make Tuesday feel special and when I go I want my friends to put my body in a circus cannon and shoot it into the Missouri River eat watermelon <laughs> sing songs but if now I'll go up to Heart Hill and hang out with some people that uh, I think a lot of and look at the river for all eternity so this is called Heart Hill it's about making the most of it while you can
ashes to ashes, love ain't enough. What you bought it will be stolen or turned into dust. And in the end, there'll be nothing left of us. Just a tombstone on a river. I'm okay. I'm just doing a little bit of this. I know spring break's in that next week, right? Ooh, nice. That's exciting. Yeah. It makes this week feel good, I know. Anybody playing hooky right now? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to come in and be a bad influence. <laughs> I mentioned earlier, yeah, Morgan and I live just down the road from from Papa, well, we call it the love shack because it sounds better than the shack. <laughs> Got a little, little cool. house in a beautiful area. <clears throat> and growing up, I mentioned how good Papa is. It's just like a, it's like meeting John Wayne, it feels like. <laughs> so anyway, as a kid, I loved him, but you know, kind of felt like you had to be on your toes around him a little bit. Lucky for me, my great uncle Jim lived just down the gravel road, and he was a much more accessible idea of what a, it meant to be an older man. <laughs> Jumping Jim Wagner, he was the king of Mosey. Walk side to side, talk side to side. <laughs> type of guy who reminds you that shortcuts cut short long runs, you know? Mm -hmm. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim, uh, he was a lifelong bachelor, except for a short engagement to a lady named Sally from Texas, who drove a black Mercedes. And that engagement ended mysteriously, but a couple years later, Jim had a black border collie named Sally, so she kind of lived on in that way. <laughs> There's a lesson there. Suspicious. When he leaves, when she leaves, get yourself a dog. <laughs> He's a teaching and preaching man in the Missouri and Arkansas Ozarks, places where they say yellow, not yellow. Yellow watermelon. Yellow watermelon. And they grow them there, too. And his pride and joy was his old square body BMW that he had saved up for. You, know, you got a lot of teaching and preaching to have a old bmw he was about 20 years old when he bought it and he loved that car but he didn't love to wash it so he'd uh, drive about seven miles per hour down those gravel roads so they wouldn't kick up any dust <laughs> because he went so slow he let me sit on the roof with my legs hanging through the sunroof and uh, i'd be able to look at the sky and he'd smoke his cigarettes and drink seven up and i'd get a second hand <laughs> nicotine buzz from the, <laughs> the the six coming through the sunroof and he'd tell me stories and jokes and Jim's last job was managing Gasper's Cafe off of I-70. If you're in a rut in life, I'd recommend going to a, high, a diner off of a major interstate and ask for the waiter or waitress to spend the longest because they know everything. I had a waitress at Gasper's tell me one time, she said, man, it doesn't matter if you're driving to sunny Florida in a luxury automobile or Fargo, North Dakota in a beater. She said, the secret to life is that everything's connected. You gotta keep your gratitude higher than your expectations. It'll be just fine. And then she walked away ten feet and said, uh, three more things, which I'll filter for you right now. She equated to uh, be kind to people, be kind to folks, and for goodness sake, be kind to one another. So here's a song about being kind and thankful. At least trying your best. It's called With a Little Love. I've been strung out and let down Stranger in my hometown Called out and I made a sound Well I've had no answer at all Gotta get lost and get found Fight yourself pound for pound Take a pull when it comes around You gotta answer when you hear the call Just two lanes and heartache Find a way to make you pay Voices like rattlesnakes Wondering if it's time to go home This young love in three stripes Summer full of sweaty nights 
dirty clothes. She was just scared to be alone. That's all it is. That's enough. I'll be fine, boys, with a little love. Give me up. There's goodbyes and don't you cry. Wishing I could get it right. Hoping you'll change your mind. Watching the sunset down on a dirt road in the springtime. Motorcycle and red light Oak tree and pocket knife Well I'm keeping my feet on the ground That's all it is That's enough I'll be fine boys With a little love Sure enough In my own hometown Called out and I made a sound Well I've had no answer at all Gotta get lost and get found Find yourself bound for bound Take a pull when it comes around You gotta answer when you hear the call Answer when you hear the call Hey, thank you I don't care if it rains or freezes As long as I got my plastic Jesus Sitting on the dashboard of my car Comes in colors, pink and blues And it glows in the dark Cause it's iridescent I carry it with me whenever I go far Get yourself a sweet Madonna Dressed in rhinestone Sitting on a pedestal Babylonia shell Going nothing but I ain't scary Cause I got Virgin Mary Assuring me I'll never go to hell Oh well So I don't care if it rains or Got that plastic Jesus sitting on the dashboard of my car. Comes in colors, pink and pleasant, close in the dark as it's iridescent. I carry it with me whenever I go far. Carry it with me whenever I go far. I do all the time. <laughs> well, I think we got one more for you all. Thanks to Phil and, and the library, Seward County, all, all you saints for having us. <laughs> when the saints go marching in, <laughs> we feel lucky to know y'all. We got a little convenient shop set up in the corner if anybody needs a koozie, <laughs> t shirt, vinyl record, CD. We got all that stuff. But a, fr a, free, a free way to help us get down the road is if you're on Spotify or YouTube or any of that stuff to follow along. We've been told by the belly of the beast a couple times in L.A. and N Nashville. Uh, they always want to know what your streaming numbers are and your subscriber numbers and all that. So if you got YouTube or Spotify, click, the, click that button and it's free to you and I'm told it helps us. <laughs> But we're not hard to find. We get up and down these roads. I know we're playing, I think Wallace County is not too far from here. We're playing the county fair later this summer. And then we're playing a great festival in a Garden City, Tumbleweed Festival. If you, uh, I think that's August 24th. And we'll be around and y'all don't be strangers. People are strange when you're a stranger, you know. That's why you say hi. This is, a, we just recorded down in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, so we got 13 songs in the bag. There's a song that uh, 
I want to dedicate to my best friend, Cole Bearhorst, who, uh, hey, he's got a superpower. And that's his mindset. He can just look at any situation, be in any situation, and find something positive in it. We were on a run last spring that was taking us to the southwest about this time, and he got diagnosed with leukemia. And uh, the whole time he was going through chemo, we were on the road, and I was talking to him, and I was just absolutely blown away about how uh, gracefully and with how much strength he handled that situation. And it was really inspiring, and I'm proud to say that as of August, he's uh, in remission from leukemia. And uh, I don't think his mind's set in his heart's any small part of that. So this is called Small Prayers, Big Blessings. It's a blessing to know you all. I'm a good time, but I got some bad habits Like there's something's on my mind I can't stop thinking about it It's like I'm stuck in the street Baby, you can me down in the end of me And I'm a lost cause, don't want to be found My head is running clean, but I got such a dirty mouth Can you watch it all out? Just now to speak of things we're talking about Singing small prayers Counting big blessings Don't know who's up there but I swear Someone's listening Fifteen miles from town Sun, sun down Now I know There's a On the two Short on time, I walk in them shoes, but I couldn't stay on straight line. Sway side to side. Make it easy, oh, and make it nice. Say bad luck, I say bubble gum, you say not enough. I say get your son, you're living life like it's a grudge. Tell me all about it when you're sober up. Counting big blessings Don't know who's up there by sway If someone's listening Fifteen miles from town Sun setting down Now I know Yeah, I know Yeah, I know I'm your friend Forrest. Thanks again for having us. This was a, a ball. Take care of yourselves. We love you. <laughs> what's your, uh, you want to catch you guys, what's, what's your uh, website? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Phil. ForrestMcKern.com is where everything is. Um, and then we're, in, we're on all the, the social medias as well. Well, no, we're not on all of them. We're not, we're not on TikTok or anything. <laughs> well, Instagram and Facebook is pretty good for us. Yeah. But yeah, but if you get Forrest with two hours going in that MCC, you should be on your way. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -oh.